chapter 6. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Stand up and state your case against me. Let the mountains and hills be called to witness your complaints. And now, O mountains, listen to the Lord's complaint. He has a case against his people Israel. He will prosecute them to the full extent of the law. O my people, what have I done to make you turn from me? Tell me why your patience is exhausted. Answer me, for I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from your slavery. I sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to help you. Don't you remember, my people, how King Balak of Moab tried to have you cursed, and how Balaam, son of Beor, blessed you instead? And remember your journey from Acacia to Gilgal, when I, the Lord, did everything I could to teach you about my faithfulness. What can we bring to the Lord to make up for what we've done? Should we bow before God with offerings of yearling calves? Should we offer Him thousands of rams and tens of thousands of rivers of olive oil? Would that please the Lord? Should we sacrifice our firstborn children to pay for the sins of our souls? Would that make Him glad? No, O people, the Lord has already told you what is good, and this is what He requires, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Listen, fear the Lord if you are wise. His voice is calling out to everyone in Jerusalem. The armies of destruction are coming. The Lord is sending them. Will there be no end of your getting rich by cheating? The homes of the wicked are filled with treasures gained by dishonestly measuring out grain in short measures. And how can I tolerate all your merchants who use dishonest scales and weights? The rich among you have become wealthy through extortion and violence. Your citizens are so used to lying that their tongues can no longer tell the truth. Therefore I will wound you. I will bring you to ruin for all your sins. You will eat but never have enough. Your hunger pangs and emptiness will still remain. And though you try to save your money, it will come to nothing in the end. You will save a little, but I will give it to those who conquer you. You will plant crops, but not harvest them. You will press your olives, but not get enough oil to anoint yourselves. You will trample the grapes, but get no juice to make your wine. The only laws you keep are those of evil King Omri. The only example you follow is that of wicked King Ahab. Therefore I will make an example of you, bringing you to complete ruin. You will be treated with contempt, mocked by all who see you.